hello, I'm trying to understand what base is. And I've had the same interaction with Jesse Pollock on Twitter a few times where I say that I am trying to understand it and the website doesn't really help me. And he's kind of like, what are you talking about? And so I thought maybe I'd record a video to just show what my experience is as I as I navigate the base website. So this is base.org. So build anything on base. And the thing that attracted me to base, I heard Jesse Pollock on interviewed on uh, Into the Bytecode, and he talked about how base is a layer on top of Ethereum, and it's meant to solve a lot of the common problems that people run into when they're building on top of Ethereum. And that that sounded very, uh, that resonated a lot with me. That made sense that like Ethereum is the, the first layer, and you'd want something to abstract away these common problems. And so, um, they say like they're they're going to bring the next billion users on chain, um, and so then the the thing that that keeps tripping me up is like if I'm pretending I don't really know that much about um, Ethereum, like the next the in Eth Ethereum L2 bring next billion users on chain. I don't really understand what that means. Like I run into that with a lot of this. Like get the EVM environment. Like I know EVM is Ethereum virtual machine, but um, if if I really was just like a new developer coming to this, a lot of this is very alienating and, and hard to follow. But for the rest of this, I'll just assume it's designed for people that are already familiar with Ethereum, which I'm kind of a, a familiar with Ethereum. I've read um, a lot about it. I read uh, part of Mastering Ethereum and I've played around with it, but I haven't done smart contract development. And so Jesse today told me to look at Learn, um, Learn to Build Smart Contracts and On-Chain Apps. Uh, welcome to Base Learn. So, um, I think here, like my reaction is I just don't really get, like, this also doesn't tell me what base is. Maybe this is not what this is supposed to be doing, but it doesn't tell me like why I would build on base versus Ethereum versus anything else. Um, and so then it, it has a set of these tutorials, um, Ethereum applications. And so what I'm really looking for is like a hello world. Like if I was, if I was learning like Vue or C++ or something, like the first thing I would see would be like, here's how you write hello world. And so that's, I don't really see that. There's like a lot of, of like kind of eating my vegetables I need to do before I get to do anything that seems fun. So it's like these, I'm, I'm seeing five or six. Okay, deploying smart contracts is the first like practical thing. And if I go there, it's, it's telling me like, okay, it's assuming I've done all the other tutorials. So um, that one is is kind of hard that it's it's assuming that I have to go through all this, like, do I really need to understand Etherscan before I deploy my first contract? Um, I think this could be a lot better if it was like, hey, we're going to get you up and running. Here's a faucet. Here's a simple app you can compile. Um, you don't need a, a thick tech stack of, of all this like Next.js stuff. Um, but so we got these deploying smart contracts and then there actually is a hello world. It's like the ninth tutorial. And I think it assumes that I've done everything else. Um, cause I think, yeah, it assumes that I have remix installed. Um, so it just, it, it, and it in, involves like a, the prettier, uh, plugin. So it's just like a lot of stuff. Um, like it, it's very far from hello world, like hello world, the KNR hello world is just like. I don't know, 10 lines, then you compile it with a C compiler. This is like, you had to have like six different things installed, including like a formatter, which seems like if I'm just getting started with smart contract development, like I don't really care that much about a formatter. Um, and and again, it's like, we're, we're doing a lot of stuff before we actually get to, um, okay, like th this is good. Like I like that it it shows output, but it's like, Again, it feels very, um, it's this, this tutorial is not self-contained. It, like, it assumes I've done some of the other ones, maybe probably not all of the other ones, cause I don't, I don't need to understand either scan to do this tutorial. Um, and then there's this plan B. Uh, yeah, I, I think as a tutorial also, it just like, I'd like to see more of like the start to finish, like this is showing me the example code, but it's not showing me like, I guess I'm supposed to be doing this in Remix, but it's assuming, yeah, I mean, again, it goes back to like, it's not self-contained. It's it's assuming that at this point I know Remix, but that's a lot of work just to get to the point of like a simple hello world, like just to understand whether like 
base is cool and I want to invest in learning more about it. Um, and so that's, that's the problem I have with a lot of these. And I've, I've looked through these other ones as well. And it's like, these aren't what I would call tutorials. Um, I don't know if these are meant to be tutorials. They're supposed to be lessons. Um, but I'd like to see like little self-contained apps that teach me the, the, the lesson I'm supposed to learn. Um, uh, a site that I think does this really well is go by example. So it's the same kind of idea. So obviously their, their first is hello world. And it's just these four lines and you can run it and edit it, uh, values. So it's all these self-contained examples. It's very simple. Um, I, I understand that, uh, base is probably going to be more complicated just because the blockchain is more complicated than a simple, like go program. But I think this is, this is the thing I think. Um, you know, if, if I were to give you a recommendation for what to strive through, strive for, um, it would be something like this, where it's, it's very self-contained lessons. You don't have to have some subset of things beforehand to understand the, the thing in the lesson. Um, so I hope this is helpful. Uh, I hope that gives you a bit more context into why I've been trying to understand what base is for a year and I'm still kind of confused.